Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a guide on all three challenges coming into the game, uh, literally starting at tomorrow. So as you can see on the screen, we've got the highest challenge coming tomorrow. And then two days after that, we have the gem grab one. And then two days after that, we have a bounty one. So each one, you'll have a chance to unlock a spray, which you'll see on the screen now. So these sprays are pretty cool. And then also every single one of these challenges at four wins, you get a Gus pin as well, which will be pretty epic. So as I said, showing you guys all the best compositions all in one video just so i don't have to get those annoying daily videos on those guides so before we jump into it make sure you're using the credit code that'd be greatly appreciated and without further ado let's hop into it okay guys so jumping into the first map of this challenge we have kaboom canyon so kaboom canyon heist should be fairly easy if this is first set by the way i'm not 100 percent sure the order of the maps but this is what i got told in order so hopefully it will be this way around so kaboom canyon as i said the number one comp for me has to be a gale and a daryl so you want to use gale with the launch pad and of course you want to be launching it yourself but specifically daryl into the middle as much as possible main reason why you want to be doing this ahead of any other tank is because daryl is so strong with his super when he rolls across a lake and he can just get so much damage so easily it's literally instant pressure every single time and that's why it's so op and then you have gale for like the perfect defense he's pretty much strong against every single brawler and specifically on this map as well his attack can literally scout the entire grass and his knockbacks are just so incredibly strong and then you have collect collect is just that, that brawler that can deal with everything on heist she gets so much damage onto the safe there's a lot of other options as well like b is dominating in the meta right now we still have crow who is pretty strong when it comes down to high specifically with his slows and then you have a bunch of other brawlers but set one mostly you want to be using your comfort brawlers because it should be fairly easy specifically on a 10 win challenge okay so now moving on to map number two we have pit stop so for pit stop these are the best options for me a lot of choices when it comes down to pit stop you have the generic brawlers which are always good but again in heist i think it's crucial specifically in this meta to have a tank so either a daryl a sam a sam is incredible in this meta right now even buzz as well is pretty strong on pit stop but you gotta have at least one tanky brawler the job of that tank of course is just constantly go up even if you're dying a lot as long as you're getting pressure and as long as you're forcing a pinch out pretty much every single time you're going to have a good job then i went for a griff so griff is pretty much good against everything and wall break options on this map are so op because you can break open the middle you can break open the walls uh, but then close to the enemy safe and griff overall right now the meta is so strong he's so good at attacking and defending when it comes down to high so definitely that really good flexible brawler and then you either have roofs or a rico so if you want to go for an ultimate wall break combo you can go with a roofs as well griffin roofs are just going to break open the entire map rico's always been insane on pit stops so a lot of choices make sure you at least have that one brawler that's going to be able to deal a lot of damage all right guys so now moving on to map number three we have a safe zone so safe zone is a map you should be all familiar with played a lot in power league and played a lot in competitive so for the best brawlers for this map you have the best combination there's a lot of choices that you can pick i went for a bell in the middle because bell can pretty much deal with everything she's decent against longer range brawlers like she can handle her own like it's whether it's up to you whether you pop off or not she's decent against max decent against bonnie these are the type of mids you're going to be facing off against so i think bell is that all-rounder in the middle also her traps can really help specifically when they have control if they go into a trap it can really help you gain control again and then you have colette down the left hand side to so collect it's job always to push up as much as possible get as much value out of her gadgets and then once she has her supers she can of course use it onto the safe come back and it's gonna be pretty hard if you're hiding behind that middle wall uh, in the middle as i said and then you also have an aggressive brawler on this map so again the likes of carl are just so strong on this map because your job again is once the enemy is either low on ammo or you find that perfect opportunity just dash into that right hand corner you're going to force a pinch out immediately and if they don't have any wall break you're going to get so much damage and just create so much pressure and you can also go with a sam or a Daryl instead as well for that ultimate pressure. You have Brock as well, who's pretty decent when it comes down to safe zone as well. He can get so much uh, damage as well. And if you pair this with the likes of Sam, Sam can just have free reigns of the map because he can spam his super against the wall and just cause so much pressure. All right, guys, so moving on to the fourth map, we have at Bridge Too Far. So with Bridge Too Far, there's a ton of options which you can go. So the first one I had is Bella in mid. The main reason being is because Bella is so strong on this map, always has been, mainly because of the ricocheting shots. You can 
can literally just shoot the high safe every single time and you're going to get free bounces onto the opponents it's going to allow you to keep control even easier so that's why i went with bell again there's a lot of options you can choose from colette is just amazing in heist she used to always be decent in heist while well, that used to be our best mode but ever since the gotcha gadget it became even more meta she's just strong against literally every single lane definitely the golden pick when it comes down to this map and then i went with alola so alola is especially strong is because once you get that kill on your lane and you have your ego imagine if you have an ego popped with this other star power and also be a damage gear you're going to deal so much damage to the safe in such a quick amount of time so that's why she can be especially strong and also her shots are just easily going to scout the lane right it's such a narrow map you also have piper who can help break open the walls if you're really got good piper you can easily pop off against everything you also have max who's really wiggly and just able to get into weird situations and can easily win one v ones a lot of options you can pick but it should be straightforward it literally is a 1v1 down your lane every single time so there's not really a lot of strategy to it you've just got to win your 1v1s okay so now moving into the final map we have hot potato so with hot potato these are the best brawlers to use so collect down the middle she's always been strong in this map down the middle and also just really good at countering tanks and this is one map where tanky brawlers are going to be used more often than not we also have a daryl down the right hand side i've sound like a broken record but just having that brawler that's able to get a lot of pressure is a essential when it comes down to heist and then it went with a roofs because roofs will break capabilities are just so strong on this map it's basically a better version of rico right now it's just invaluable uh the amount of uh supers you can get breaking open the map so there's also a couple of other options as well i did put surge in there so sometimes i shy away from surge because it doesn't really get the most damage on the safe but surge on this map in particular is so incredibly strong it actually gets picked a lot in competitive because he can counter tank so easily on this map so as long as you've got uh, some good aggro on uh on your side on your composition you should be able to even fit a surge into there honestly you also have the likes of griff who can break open the walls as well always good on defense uh, you've also got nita this is one of the maps where nita actually shines on the only thing is nita sometimes can get counted a bit too easily that's why at the beginning i thought that nita would literally be like one of the best brewers in the game but with wall break options she tends to struggle but this is the type of map where she can get a lot of early pressure on you also have carl who can also get infinite pressure m's in the middle as well you can't go wrong with that one so hot potato that's going to be your final map okay so now moving into the gem grab challenge starting off with set number one we have a deep diner so this challenge will be out wednesday an hour after the ending of the last challenge uh, so these are the best brothers to use so on deep diner right now whenever i've played it on ladder is so much poco and sam it's insane how strong these brawlers are i've even seen poco being used lane sam being used lane and then like a penny or something in the middle it's just absolutely broken how strong poco and sam are right now in the meta so you can go with that one i did say on the best compositions to use gene griff and janet because you can't really go wrong with those brawlers pretty much good against everything but if you want to just go that run and gun style we definitely go poco and sam it's going to run over everything still as well with a turret it's been used so much on these maps where the turret can stay along for such a long time you pair this with a poco and it's so hard to deal with him because he can just run into your face and get so much value also the likes of penny so good in the middle uh you've got the likes of griff who can open up the middle walls so easily same goes with roughs as well so a lot of options but set number one should be pretty easy okay so next up on set number two we have undermine so undermine has always been a map where it heavily depends on your 1v1 situation specifically down the lanes so if your lanes are with in on this map you're going to have an amazing time if one of your lanes loses it's going to be pretty hard for you to make a comeback because it's just so spawn trappy it's so hard to scout the grass it's probably a little bit easier than it used to be in the past because of vision gear so you've got to bear that in mind so brawlers that are good with vision gear going to be incredibly strong on this map in particular because as i said once you lose control it's going to be really hard vision gear is going to allow you to get back that control so that's why i've opted for gene in the middle because gene can really help out the lanes so much with just one shot with the vision gear it's going to help scout and regain a lot of control you've got griff to break open the grass and also the walls so if you do lose on that lane it's going to be really easy to establish control again and also just dominate even more and janet as well with her gadget she's able to scout all the bushes pretty easily again poco in the middle gonna be pretty strong sam it's gonna be so op with his speed gear and also the super just boosting around everywhere a lot of other options you can pick as well like spike and taro you can still actually pretty much go especially in the early rounds so this is going to be set number two let's hop into the next one okay so now jumping into the third set we have gem four so shock we have boko as the best brawler specifically in the middle his shots are so easy to hit and it's going to scout literally all of the grass you just can't go wrong with a poker you can pair this also with tanks as well and 
just go beefy in the middle uh, but mostly tanks and counters still a little bit too easily in this meta so i tend to shy away from it but you can obviously go that so sam as well just absolutely going to dominate on this map there's just so many walls where you can just use your super heal infinitely he literally is one of the most broken brawlers in the meta right now because of that star power it may not be get picked so much right now in power league but people are still getting used to him trust me he's so broken so if you have him unlocked make sure to abuse him as much as possible so cover likes of gene in the middle as well he's always been good in gem 4 but now specifically with the vision gear it's going to really help you push up a lane and also scout in the middle you also have Stu, who's going to just be really good paired with poco so whenever you go a poco don't be afraid to go a stew with that turret because it's just such a good synergy you also have penny who's pretty good in the middle maybe not completely the best but just a good versatile option you also have griff to break open the walls and also break up the grass and also the likes of Tara is always ama amazing in gem 4 even when she's not meta this is literally her best map by far in the game so gem 4 is always just trying to hold control of the middle as much as possible making sure that enemies aren't sneaking behind specifically when it's a turnaround brawler as well so you just got to make sure you're communicating pretty well and just making sure you're using as many vision gear brawlers as possible okay now jumping into set number four we have minecart madness so there's a couple of brawlers that are just so key when it comes down to this map and that is bonnie and janet so the main reason why i stress these two brothers so much is because like, they're always really strong in the meta right but specifically on this map the minecart can just change the pace of the game so easily and both of these brothers have the capability to jump over the minecart and also just get back infinite pressure even if you end up dying as well like when you get a kill you end up dying as well as long as you're getting one of the kills so you get much more pressure back for your teammates it's going to be okay like i see so much janet and bonnie play on this map in competitive and they're always the brawlers that are carrying so there's a ton of other brawlers you can go as well max in the middle is definitely really strong you can pair this pretty much with every single brawler and it also helps you make a comeback with that max speed as well so that's why she's so strong on here you also have b which you might be surprised at but b is just so strong at countering so many different archetypes in the game right now specifically when she has a damage gear active as well she can do like 4k with one shot you can play b as a mid or a lane as well got the likes of a penny as well and my cop madness i know sometimes the uh, penny turret placements could be a little bit awkward but there's a couple of places where you can put it where the minecart won't of course destroy it and she's just really solid overall and there's a ton of other options as well bell can be a really decent option crow can still be pretty strong on minecart madness and you probably won't see too much collect when it comes down to these challenges so you can definitely get away with a call as well so yeah for me it's always with minecart madness just of course be careful of the minecart but making sure that you're getting that control when the minecart is pushing back the enemies and then also make sure you have those turnaround brawlers so when the minecart is pushing you back you can turn the tide in your favor all right guys jumping into the fifth and final set we have crystal arcade so just like undermine this map is really definitive in its lanes so if you're a mid definitely try and help your lane out as much as possible and that's why i went with the gene in the middle just because i know i didn't do it on the graphic but in the gameplay I went with the gene just because of the vision gear it really helps out in the lane and his shots are just so easy to hit so vision gear is always going to be essential in that lane matchup so specifically on these lanes i've got to stress this highly is to either have a wall break option or a brawler that has a decent amount of range because when it comes down to the sweaty games uh they're gonna have either a wall break option uh, or as i said something a bit more longer range because one wall break will literally make it so those shorter range brawlers will have no chance down the lane so brawlers like nita for example are gonna really struggle if you're facing off against a griff because one wall break is just gg and also brothers like roughs as well those two brothers are just so meta in the gem grab meta so you also have brawlers like uh, penny in the middle going to be really easy to get a lot of value out of your turret multiple places to put it and multiple walls to hide it behind janet is just insane in gem grab just really good against everything bonnie as well insane against everything you can play her as a mid or a lane uh, you've got likes of crow that can easily scout the grass you also have Stu that can get a lot of value out of the turret and also carl bow all decent brawlers overall so for crystal arcade can't stress this enough just try and help out your lanes as much as possible as a mid and then you should just should have a good game overall okay so now moving into the final challenge we have bounty so starting off with canal grande everyone's favorite bounty map oh my kidding it can be really spawn trappy but overall should be pretty decent as a first set so these are the best brawlers to use so for ba for bounty specifically canal grande unless you're a tankier brawler all three of your brawlers should go down the same lane main reason being is because you always want to hold one lane in canal grande I've been saying this for literally years but it's even more crucial in this type of meta just get that one lane sorted and then if you're able to get multiple kills 
then you can start to split up down the other lane uh, but as, at the beginning definitely go down that one lane so the best brawlers to use so penny decent overall you can either go with a penny or gene both brawlers are just pretty well balanced and that's why i've always put them in the compositions because they don't really get countered by too many brawlers and that's what you want specifically when you're playing this type of uh, game because it's just literally blind picks right it's not like a uh, power league where you can see what the other team goes so also gone with a Janet as well. It's literally one of our best maps because of that gadget. It's just, I say it over and over again, but it scouts the entire grass and also you can just peek in and out of grass so easily. You can also just literally super across the map and just land on whatever matchup you want. So it's super OP. Cole's gonna be really strong because of that gadget being able just to fling yourself across the lake and also get that mid star can be pretty essential. You can go with tanky options as well on this map because it's gonna be pretty hard unless they have a wall break of course for them to get you out of that wall. That's why you see a lot of tanks on this map like an Ash, even a Rosa, Sam, Jackie I've even seen on Canal Grande. So don't be afraid to go tanky options as well but that's gonna be set number one. Let's open to set number two. Okay, so next up for set number two, we have Excel. So Excel, we've not played too much of in ladder, but it's always the same type of meta. It's really easy just to win your 1v1 uh, battles on this map. So the best brawlers to use, I've, again, gone for a Penny. Penny is just so solid. When there's a map with a lot of walls, a Taurus always going to get ultimate value. She's always got good defense against aggro. And just overall, a, a, a Taurus can just absolutely carry. So also got Janet as well, who of course can always uh, pressure pretty easily. And then a Bonnie as well, specifically specifically because this map a lot of times people don't really like group together so that super can get ultimate value they go for a max as well you can go for that cheesy gene max combo on this map specifically because you can always hide around a wall and then once you get your max super if you're using the star power that charges it automatically you're going to be able to get so much pressure especially when you have another brawler that has a good super like gene as well it just makes for the ultimate combination so you can also go with a throw on this map throws are really strong of course if this map is set number two then uh aggros you might be a little bit suspect against them so of course run it at your own will but tick can still be pretty decent against aggro but brothers like sprout and grom are definitely going to have a better time if you don't face off against those aggro brawlers you got squeak as well who's easily be, uh, well, who can shoot behind those walls and easily able to get so much pressure early on so these are going to be the best brawlers to use in excel let's open to the next one because okay, so now moving on to set number three we have temple ruins so this is a map which i believe hasn't been in a game for such a long time they play it on ladder recently i had so much fun so you can kind of think of this map where it literally is like undermine right except for it, it's on bounty so the best brawlers to use on this map there's a ton of choices i don't have a complete broken number one composition because it's not a map that's been in the game for too long but the same type of bounty brothers are always going to be strong so piper in the middle can't really go wrong with our piper in the middle just because in bounty she's always been specifically really op might be a little bit suspect against the janets and also the calves but overall she's just pretty strong if you pop off with her and you're pretty good bow you can either play as a mid or a lane uh, but the mines are really going to help you down the lane to break open them up as much as possible and janet always scouting the grass is pretty easy with her penny again bounty are going to be pretty solid gene as well same old same old uh, you also have the likes of pam which could be a good underrated pick just because her shots are so easy to scout the bushes with and then again once you keep that lane it's really hard to push a pam with that super and also you have sprout as well so sprout can be a decent pick just because in the middle his walls can be so toxic and it's really easy to funnel the enemies with a sprout so temple ruins just like undermine it can really specifically be on your 1v1 interactions down the lane and then just about that domino effect of keeping the pressure and keeping the lane and just spawn trapping the enemies Okay, so next up at set number four, we have Dry Season. So Dry Season has always been a really defensive bounty map. So you probably get away with playing throwers on this map because they're just so strong, specifically when you're pushing up. So the best combination that I did pick on this map was a Gene, Russ and Tick combination. So you might think that's a little bit of a weird combination to use, but Russ with a star power that allows your teammates to build up that HP can be pretty strong, especially if you can stay as a unit with a Gene and a Tick towards the end of a game of course this takes a lot of coordination to pull off but you're just gonna get a lot of hp by the end of the game as i said everyone powered up it's gonna be so much hp it's gonna be really hard for the enemies to deal with you so if you want to go with a cheesy strategy you can go with that one but there's also a lot of other options you can pick as well so 
We've got the likes of Penny again in Bounty. So strong. So many walls to put uh, the turret behind on this map. You also have Cole, who's literally the king when it comes to dry season. Always been strong on this map. You can get so much pressure with him. Also got Janet as well as pretty safe. Brawler Piper on this map has been always pretty strong because one wall break can open up so much of the map. You also have Bow, which is probably one of his better maps because it's a more defensive map. So if you have a Brawler that's really strong with a super, he can always go with a cheesy Bow strategy, which, which can, of course, really help it's as long as you get our first star on dry season i think dry season this map in particular is uh, that middle star is probably the most important out of all the other maps because once you get it you can then just camp behind the walls and the opponents are going to be forced to push into you all right guys so moving into the final map of the video and of this challenge we have layer cake so layer cake is a map which of course you can probably get away with playing those more aggressive brawlers but the standard brawlers are always strong on bounties so for me bounty can always rely on the last few seconds so that's why brawlers like bonnie are pretty strong you could use her as a mid or a lane it's up to you whether you want to use like a gene and a bonnie of course you don't have to completely stay down your lane on this map in particular you can just kind of hang around the middle with a gene with a bonnie and then when it comes down to the latter stages that super is going to be really strong again those clutch kills penny going to be pretty strong everywhere same with gene that's why i always go with those brawlers they're just pretty good against everything you'll also have janet again pretty much good against everything tick is pretty strong on this map in particular like throws can be really strong on this one there's a lot of walls and it takes a long time for the enemies to really do anything and uh, break open those walls you also have max that can get a lot of pressure carl as well a lot of pressure poco this is this one map in bounty which he's particularly strong on it's so easy to push up with him on this map and you pair him with any type of aggro you know like a sam and ash it's gonna be really hard if you play it as a team for the enemies to really do much against you you also have bow of course uh, you can go with him in the middle and then sprout sprout is a more riskier option but if you're a good sprout player you can absolutely pop off on this map so that's going to be the final map all right guys going to be it for today's video hope you enjoyed this one so this took such a long time to make all the graphics and also the gameplay and all of that good stuff so really appreciate you guys' support on this one let me know whether you like this style in comparison to the other ones like i thought it might get a little bit too repetitive and boring if it just did like three daily uploads on each challenge so thought it spice it up a little bit but that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time